Look at guys, we got this Volvo. 850. 1994 Volvo 850. And they want me to scan it for code. So let's go to scanner. Continue. Uh, we'll go down to Volvo. I never did an older Volvo, so first time for everything, right? Let's see, manual ID. <laughs> we don't even go back to 1994. God. Huh. Hey guys, so I just had a crash course on reading Volvo codes. So, let's see. How did I lose the keys? Hang on, I got them. I think. Here we go. So we put our key in, and it says we turn it to position two. So right there is position two. Okay. Um, let's make sure. Let's just check engine light that we're checking. Okay, so we got an ABS light. No, no, just check engine. Okay. So we put it in position two. Okay. So then we come up here, and from what I saw, we gotta come over here to this side. This is our A port, from what I read. So we take this, and then there's a jumper wire here. So we put this in A2, once we get our jumper wire out. So we put this in A2 for engine codes. See right here. And I guess we press our button, and then this is supposed to flash. Oh. One. Two. Do that again. Do we have to cycle the key again to see him? Let's see. I need to wait to cycle our key again. Let's see. I don't want to erase them because I think they said you have to hold it for fun. For like six seconds. Let's see, shut the key off. Oops. Let's see if I can spray myself. Come on. There we go. So that's back on. Let's come up here to our jumper. Let's put our jumper back in. Because I was looking at the camera rather than watching the flashes. One, two, and then one. So yeah, one, two, one, I'm assuming. So I gotta see how they do their codes. And I'll quick look this up and then I'll come back. Okay guys, hopefully you can hear me. So our code was, uh, oh, I selected, did I select the wrong? No, I did select the wrong. So one, two, one, okay? Mass airflow sensor signal absent or faulty. So right here it tells you how to test it uh, using like an ohm meter and that. So I gotta see what they want to do. If they don't want me to do it, uh, at least we write codes on a car that's what 25 years old now. 26. No, 27. They're 27 years old. And I guess I guess they don't use scan tools on here. Maybe there might be a way because there's diagnosis by. Uh, code testing, so I don't know too much about older Volvos. Never see them. That's where we're at. So I hope you guys like it. See you later. Okay, guys, look at this. This could contribute to why it doesn't read. Looks like it's all busted. I don't think there's anything in here. It's just tape. I think it's just tape holding it all because this is really rigid plastic. Like, I would honestly go to, like, the hardware store or something just get some plastic that would fit. Because right there's your mass airflow sensor. Crazy. See you guys later. Okay, guys, so they want to diagnose, so I'm going to see if we can pop this cover off. Maybe we can snake our smoke machine in from underneath here without disturbing it too much. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Let's see. Is there another one under there? I'm hoping that I can get a a uh, bladder. Maybe stick the bladder up in here. 
Maybe. No. Oh yeah, I think we can get our bladder in there. I don't like getting the mass airflow sensor all covered in smoke, but try. So yeah, I, th I think we can get our bladder up in there and then we don't have to disturb this too much and just smoke the whole intake. Okay guys, so we got our oil tool set up. I think we're gonna have to turn this up. I think this is the right way or I might be going the wrong way. No, it's definitely the wrong way. So we'll go this way. And we'll see. Look at our smoke coming out of here. Oh God, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, look how bad that is. I think we might have to get some tape. We may have to get some tape or whatever and see if we can fix this. We also have some smoke coming out from under there, but that might be from, look at that. Why do you think it has a mass airflow sensor code? Like now that we're early getting smoke in there. Crazy. So yeah, I'm going to uh, see if we can get some more tape for on there and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so right now we've got the lab scope set up. Uh, it says it should be 2.7 when you turn it on. We're at 2.8. To me, that's okay. We're probed in the wire 4, pin 4 right here. And then we got, we're connected to battery ground right there. So to me, that looks good. So let me move this. Uh, I'm going to start it up and we'll see what our voltage is. Now it says hot idle should be 3.5. Now I don't know if we're going to get to 3.5 with this. But I just want to see what our voltage goes to. We're at 3.8, so we do have a signal, but I think this right here is causing our issue. This whole tape mess. I'm gonna let this warm up here. I'm gonna see if I can find some more tape and we'll see if we can fix this thing. I don't know what that drop is right there though. Let's see, let's get down to one millisecond. There we go. Let's get a setup. Let's turn our trigger off. Trigger. None. There we go. That's what we're seeing. And what's our voltage? 3.6 right now. So right now it looks good, but I want to fix that tape. Okay, guys. Right now we're seeing 3.6. So I'm going to shut it off. We're getting me tape. I'm going to clean this up and see if it fixes it. So this is what was underneath the tape. Okay guys, so I pushed the tape in all the grooves to try to get the seal over that crack. And I think this might work for at least now. I'm gonna tell them to get another one. Or like go to even the hardware store and just get like a plastic, like if you can get a corrugated tube or something just to put over even a silicone coupler off like eBay, just something. Something's better than this being broken. If you can just get a silicone coupler, that'll work. Okay guys, I got it all back together. Let's try to smoke this up. Oh, don't have my clamp on. There we go. Let's try this again. There we go. Let's see if we get any smoke. Look at that, is there only smoke from under here? Where's that coming from? Oh yeah, we're getting very little out of there. Let's see if we can tighten that up a little bit. Yeah, we're not sealing too great. I thought we would be sealing a little bit better. It's definitely better than it was. Definitely better. I think we're getting more leaking out of here. Oh yeah, so that to me is actually better because it looks like most of our leak 
Let me turn this light off. Let me turn the light off. So look at that. Most of our leaking is coming from inside this mass air flow sensor here. Out of the hole, which we didn't have before. So that's awesome. So we might be building pr some pressure in there. So I'm going to see if our readings are different. Okay guys, so I got the lab scope connected back up. Let's go back in our car. Let's uh, start our car up. See if there's a difference in our voltages. We're at, we're at 3.6. 3.5, we're getting closer to 3.5. Definitely have a lower voltage, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I think we're gonna clear the codes and we'll see if this fixes it, but they really need to get this fixed. We might even have, I'm gonna clip this down too while this is running and see if we get a different uh, different voltage when this is put down. Yeah, look at that, we're at uh, 3.632 right now. Um, I'm gonna clear the code and we'll see if it comes back. So let's uh, shut this car off. I think we turn it to position two. Let's see, shut this off turn it key on and then I think we use our jumper up here and then I think we have to read our code again and then I think we hold it so let's see did I do that right And that should be it. And I think we just hold this for like six to seven seconds. I know, I think that's it. And I think we can take this back off. And I think our codes are cleared. So I'm gonna have them drive this tomorrow. And then I guess I'll post up my findings once, uh, once this is done. Let's see. Let's see, cycle the key off. Cycle it on. Okay, maybe that's not how you clear the codes. Let me quick look. Wrong. So, what we gotta do is, we gotta pop this off, right here, and then we put this back in there. I didn't, you gotta do it twice. So, you put this in there, and then let's read our codes. So you read it. and not gonna there we go so you got to read it and we got to hold it and then we have to hold it again after it flashes let's see so now let's hold it for six seconds there we go we release it and then it's supposed to come on and off I guess and then we hold it again for six seconds. And then I think it's supposed to flash three times. Let's see. Okay, guys, I gotta answer this real quick. Okay, guys, I'm reading the codes again. So, 
to clear this, I did it wrong. So you have to hold this for six seconds. Like that. And then when the light comes on, you got to hold it once the light comes on. So now we hold it again for six seconds. There we go. And then I don't know if it's going to flash, but we need one. We want a one, one, one for our code. Let's see, is it going to do it? Let's see if it'll do a one, one, one. There you go, one. Okay. Okay. Anytime's good. Okay, so let's cycle our key. See if a light goes off. There we go. So I'll let this run for a little bit while I clean up my smoke machine and that. And we'll see if our light comes on. I'll leave the lab scope hooked up. Okay guys, so car's running. We're down to 3.579 right there. So let's come in here. Let's see, can we turn our lights on so we can see what we're doing? There we go. So let's uh, raise the RPM up. I think what was happening is that hose is probably flexing, and the mass airflow sensor signal would randomly drop out. I just wanted to see. Like, let's try putting it in gear. There we go. I bet you it would just flex. And then drop out. I'm gonna have them put some miles on it, but they're gonna need to. Did our bulb bulbs just start working? Yeah, I think we're good to go, guys. Let's see. Turn mass airflow sensor reading. 3.61 is coming down. 3.885. 3.74. I mean, 3.574. Look at that, guys. I'm happy with that. So, I hope you guys like this one. Um, see you later. I'll, like I said, I'll update if anything changes.